morning everyone welcome to mathematics for quarter 2 week number 3 our learning competency at the end of the lesson you should be able to solve real life world problem involving GCF and LCM of two given numbers so lesson number 5 solve real life world problem involving GCF and LCM of two given numbers so first let's have a recall find the gcf and lcm of two number so we have 24 and 32 so 24 and 32 so the common factor between 24 and 32 is 2 so 24 divided by 22 uh, 24 divided by 2 is 12 and 32 divided by 2 is 16 and then the common factor again between 12 and 16 is 2 then 12 divided by 2 is 6 and 8 uh, 16 divided by 2 is 8 and then divide also the common factor between 6 and 8 is 2 again and then 6 divided by 2 is 3, 8 divided by 2 is 4, then 3 and 4 has no common factor. So let's find the GCF. The GCF is, okay, this one, so 2 multiplied by 2, the answer is 4, and multiplied by 2, the answer is 8. And then the LCM of the this number is, okay this one so 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 24 times 4 is 96 so this would be our LCM so the LCM of 24 and 32 is 96 and the GCF is 8 so here are some ideas and keywords in finding if the GC if the problem is involving GCF and or LCM so in GCF we have greatest largest and maximum while LCM we have smallest minimum and at least or least so these are the keywords that easily identify if the problem is involved GCF or LCM so let's have a problem problem number one Rachel has a bag of 42 candies and Kiel has a bag of 24 biscuits they have to divide up the, the candies and the biscuits into small plastic bags with small number of candies and biscuits each plastic bag containing either biscuits or candies only if there is no remainder find the largest possible number of candies or biscuits in each plastic bag this problem is what is a involving uh, GCF because it of the keyword largest possible number okay so so let us solve step by step step number one what is us in the given okay very good so the largest possible number of candies or biscuits in each plastic bag so step number two what are the given the given are 42 candies and 24 biscuits this would be 42 and then we have to know the operation to be used the operation to be used is division because the problem involves GCF since it's mentioned largest possible number of candies or biscuits in each plastic bag and then step number four choose a method to find the y LCM so it can be listing prime factorization or continuous division and then step number five we're going to solve so this would be the solution using continuous division let us solve so 
the given are 24 and 42. So the common factor between 24 and 42, we have 2. Then 12 and 21. Then 12 and 21, we have the common factor is 3. 12 divided by 3, 21 divided by 3. And the quotient is 4 and 7. 4 and 7 has no common factor, so that this would be the the last or the prime number or the last number because there are no common factor so now let's find the gcf the gcf is 2 multiplied by 3 so the answer is 6 biscuits or candies can be their small plastic bags so this would be the answer six biscuits or candies can Rachel and Kel put in a plastic bag so now let's proceed in problem number two problem number two Jonah and Labla are shelving books at their library Jonah shelves five books at a time whereas Labla shelves 10 at a time if they end up shelving the same number of books what is the smallest number of books each could have shelved so let us solve step by step again step number one what is us so the same num this the same smallest number of books each could have shelves or the number of smallest number of books can could have shelves then step number two what are the given the given are five books at a time by jonah and ten books at a time by labla and then step number three know the operation to be used the operation to be used is division then because the problem involves LCM since it mentioned it is smallest S number of books each could have shelf then step number four you're going to choose a method to find the LCM it can be listing prime factorization or continuous division I suggest you're going to use continuous division okay so solve state the correct answer so using continuous division again let us solve 5 and 10 are the given so the common factor of 5 and 10 is 5 5 divided by 5 is 1 10 divided by 5 is 2 so this would be the last number so the LCM would be 5 times 1 is 5 times 2 would be 10 so 10 books so Jonah and blah blah ended up shall being 10 books so for your reminder grade grade 4 pupils you're going to answer what's more letter A try this page 13 on your self learning module so that's all for today grade 4 pupils i hope you learned something from me so keep updated on our next topic by next week that's all thank you